Hi, people of the Philippines and people of the world. Hit the button below. And you will be subscribing to the Boy Abunda Talk channel on YouTube. Let's keep talking. Who are you? Who are you when no one's watching? Who are you when no one's watching? Shine, maraming salamat. Thank you, Dito Boy, for having me. I looked forward to this particular moment kasi sabi ko, hindi pwedeng hindi ko maitanong kay Shine ang lahat ng gusto kong itanong tungkol sa ika-anim na utos. Hanggang ngayon ba, Shine, tinatawag ka pa rin Emma? Yes, Dito Boy. Every time I go out, meron at meron pa rin talaga na parang tumatak talaga sa kanila. They don't even call me by my name anymore. It's still Emma. Do you have a sense, Shine, kung bakit naging sobrang laki nung palabas? I think what made it more interesting and what made people got hooked to it is because, honestly, um, at that point in my life, something was also happening. And parang people assumed parang it was also based in what was really happening in my life at that time. So I think that was one of the hooks. Was it? No, not at all. Talagang but nangyari was, lang. Oh, oh. Yes. I think there were similarities because um, uh, my husband uh, uh, used to be a pilot as well and Gabby's role was also a pilot. Siguro what they only knew was what they read on the papers or what they saw on uh, the st- on social media. So parang, ay nako, yan talaga yung nangyari. Parang ganun, in na lang nila. So I think all the more made it interesting. How did it affect your performance? I think I was in a survival mode. I was just very glad that I had work. And um, my my uh, attitude towards work kasi is, it's just work to me. Kung may konti mang similarities in the story, parang it, it didn't bother me because I was just happy that I was working and that nawala yung focus ko sa kung ano man yung nangyayari sa akin but my focus was at work. Ako kasi, Tito Boy, parang I, I, I know how to separate my personal life from work. If I carry all that baggage, I have kids to go home to after work and I don't want them to be affected because dala-dala ko pa rin lahat ng emosyon na ginamit ko sa trabaho. There's always that fine line that sometimes, you know, you try to avoid to cross. Pero nangyayari din naman talaga. I was just very aware na parang no, this is just a character it just so happens na may similarity but I will not use my my own anger resentment and pain um, for that particular sequence kasi kunyari ginamit ko talaga yun baka hindi maganda yung nangyari sa boy <laughs> <laughs> I wanna go back to the show kasi uh, mula sa balot hanggang sa tapunan <laughs> Cool. It, lahat ito naaalala natin, no? Sa lahat ng inyong ginawa, may paborito ka? I think yung pinaka-iconic um, for me na hindi ko makakalimutan was the elevator scene. When I confronted Gabby with Risa and then um, umabot sa point na parang um, nagkaroon kami ng fight scene paakit nung, nung escalator. I mean, sorry, not elevator, escalator. escalator. So, uh, yeah, that was very, very hard to do. May mga pagkakataon na nagkakasakit ng kayo? Meron din naman. Hindi na iiwasan, Tito Boy. But, you know, um, nasa usapan din naman eh. And, you know, we were very lucky that we had a very good fight instructor oh. that time. Talagang so, there was a as, fight instructor, ha? Yes, yes, Tito Boy. Oh. Oo. Usually, nagkakasakitan lang naman kung hindi mo sinusunod ang fight instructor nyo. It's like a dance, di ba? Right. Kung baga, kung hindi ka nakasunod sa rhythm and the beat, uh, right. sablay ka. So, pero minsan, meron talaga. Looking back, ano yung natutunan mo kay Emma? She really fought hard for her family. Pero ang parang, ang hindi, hindi ko rin naman nagustuhan is parang kung aabot din naman sa point na parang ganun nakagulo. Oh. <laughs> Tsaka yung masisira na yung buhay mo just because of some girl. Dai, ibigay mo na. <laughs> diba? Parang wag ka. It's not worth it. Parang uh-huh. hindi, rin, hindi na rin tama kung mangyari man sa totoong buhay yun. Ha? Yung the, uh, the other girl is plotting against your family, your life, and all that. Diba? Parang hindi na rin worth it. But I think um, 
maybe the people rooted for Emma's character because um, she really believed in um, the sanctity of the marriage and um, yung, yung family unit na hindi dapat masira yun. Ang tanong ko, Shine, how did you become who you are? Um, partly because I needed to survive. I needed to fight and um, still fighting for my children. Um, I want them to have a semblance of a family. It's not perfect, but you know, their dad is still there. And um, he has a very good relationship with his children. Sabi ko nga, Tito Boye, kumbaga, um, nagkataon lang na I'm not the type to easily forget and forgive. Pero hindi mo talaga siya matatawaran bilang ama. Napakabuti niyang ama sa mga anak ko. So yun, hindi ko pwedeng ipagdamot sa mga anak ko yun. As an actor, Ano ang prosesong pinagdadaanan mo when you do a confrontation scene? At anong proseso na pinagdadaanan mo when you do intimate kissing scenes, for example? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, confrontation scenes is very easy for me. <laughs> Hindi, wala akong problema dyan, Tito Boy. Promise. Oh my God, I know. Um, <laughs> talaga, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, Hindi ko talaga problema yan. Pero, okay. eto na, the, the secret will be out. hindi ko talaga kaya yung mga kissing scenes. Inaamin ko naman yan. And you know, I've just been very, um, I guess, lucky na most of the productions that I've worked with um, understands my limitations regarding that. So, I overcompensate. Binadaan ko sa talagang malagip na tingin, magandang ngiti, and all that. And parang it worked naman for me kasi parang the people were always excited for what's next. Kasi nga, hindi nila nakikita na nagkikissing scene, di ba? Parati lang na parang tender kiss and all that beautiful looking into each other's eyes. Doon ako nag-overcompensate kasi nga, hindi ko kaya makipag-kissing scene. Okay. <laughs> Hussein, that you kissed someone, a co-actor, and then you threw up after is urban legend. Oh, that's true, Tita Boy. <laughs> It's not over. I'm proud. Okay, I will share that with you. Okay. Um, the show was Kung Mawawala Ka. I did it with Kogi Domingo, directed by, of course, Joe Lamangan. <laughs> and then there was one particular scene that Kogi had to do a kissing scene with Isa Calzado, my sister. Okay? Yes. And then, while they were doing the scene, naiimagine ni Kogi na ako yung kinikiss niya. So, Si Isa, hindi yan kinakabahan sa mga ganyan. Ga, sorry ha. Pero talagang si Isa talaga hindi yan kinakabahan. Wala sa kanya yan. Hindi yan big deal sa kanya. So anyway, so I had to do exactly what Isa was doing kasi ipapatong yung mukha ko eh. Those days, we all know naman na terror talaga si Direct Joel, ba? Diba? So, okay. So I had to do exactly what Isa was doing. So, I was freezing up. Sabi nila mangan, ayusin nyo yan! Pag hindi nyo yan inayos, wala halikan kayo buong araw! Ganon ang sabi. So, all the more, naninenerbios na talaga ako, Tito Boy. Finally, nag-good yung take, tapos sabi, nag-announce ng lunch break. Hindi ko napansin, nahihilo na pala ako. I went in my car, sabi ko sa kuya ko, Kuya, hilong-hilo talaga ako. Sabi kong ganyan. Parang feeling ko magba-blackout ako anytime. Tapos, sa sobrang nervyos ko, Tito Boy, sumuka talaga ako. Not because I... Not, and yes. not because I, I kissed Kogi, ha? But it was really more of the nervyos and all yeah. that. So, they brought me to the hospital to check on me kasi nagka-hyperventilate na pala ako. So... That's the true story about that. <laughs> okay, Malinao. Let's talk about uh, you being a director because you are directing now. <laughs> Isang ano, beses pa lang naman. <laughs> know, marami pang susunod yan. It's going to be followed. Salamat. But as a director, ano ang preference mo sa isang actor? I like thinking actors. Uh, I, 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 I like that it's a collaborative experience. Kasi... Sometimes um, when you're directing, um, you're too focused also on, you know, the technicalities of it. Pero nakakalimutan yung emotion. And I think that's the beauty of um, me being an actor and directing. Kasi naintindihan ko yung script, naintindihan ko yung journey ng characters. Na parang minsan, 
um, nakakalimutan din ng artista sa dami ng um, sequences na kailangan nilang memorya. And saka, we don't actually shoot it sequence by sequence dito. Boy, tumatalon niya din, di ba? So, an actor's director would remind the actor na, ay, pwedeng subukan natin yung ganitong templa. And that's how I work. Napakaganda ng experience ko nung nag-second unit nga ako for Direct Mark. Um, parang I felt like everybody really supported me. My cameraman, my AD, right. and my lighting director, and everyone was like re- really rooting for me that all I had to do was really concentrate on the actors and how to get the most uh, and the best performance out of them in every scene. Do you have an acting hero? Sherry Hill is one of my idols. Wow. Super Tito Boy. Oh, oh. Nung dalaga pa ako, parang parati kong sinasabi, oh, how nice, no? how I wish I was like Miss Sherry. Kasi parang, diba, Tita Sherry, sometimes would take a long break, but when she comes back, she's still Sherry Hill. Yung ganon. There was one time, I um, I think we were both nominated, and then nagkasalubong kami sa backstage, and she said to me na parang, Oh, Sunshine, I saw that episode. You were really good. Congratulations. I was like, 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 I saw her, sobrang kinikilig ako. Um, I think it was an opening of um, the restaurant um, uh, nila, nila Gabi Eigenman and I got invited. Tita Shari was there. Pinicturein kami ni Kuya Gabi. I will never forget. Yung, yung smile ko, Tito Boy, parang hindi mo pwedeng i-post kasi talaga yung Kailig <laughs> ganon! Sobrang, yung sobrang kilig na hindi, yung halatang halata sa face ko na fans na fans, ganon yung dating. But you haven't, you haven't worked with her? No pa, no pa. And that's one of my dreams. Oo. Oh, oh. Now you're working on Marry Me, Marry You. How is this new environment? I mean, may pagkakaiba ba? Are you adjusting? It's really a happy step. The beauty to it is that um, Miss Pai, really went out of her way to bond with us, si Ate Vina, and um, si Janine. Well, Janine I've worked with before. So, parang hindi kami masya, wala kami adjustment. Pero since Pai, first time din eh. Pero, you know, Ate Pai is so generous, so kind. Ang saya, ang gaan-gaan nung set. Kasi sabi ko nga, Tito Boy, parang, you know, it gets lonely at times, right? Because you're, you're away from your family. Pero, nakakalimutan mo, Kasi masaya. And I learn a lot from them. Um, Miss Pai is also so generous telling us about her experiences and teaching us about, you know, techniques. Niloloko ko nga yung mga bata dito. Sabi ko, ayan na, may pa-master class na si Miss Pai. Sabi ko, makinig kayo. Ganyan. She's so generous talaga. Yes, and she Ate is. Vina also is super fun to work with. Nag-bond yung cast with like food. We're all foodies here. And then, we also enjoy the same music. Machika din kami. And, um, natural na natural sa screen yung kala mo matagal na kami magkakaibigan. It's just really exciting na parang uh, all this is new. Uh, you know, I've gotten used to working with people from the other network who has been like my family na din naman for 25 years, diba? Pero, it's such a good feeling to work with this production unit from Dreamscape because they welcomed me with talagang open arms. Even Sir Deo is so sweet. Because I celebrated my birthday during this lock-in. Eh. He even sent flowers. Ah, ano, parang hindi, hindi ko napansin na nasa ibang lugar na ako. Parang ganun, Tito Boy. Okay. Shine, uh, hypothetical lang ito. Top of mind, last acting job, sino ang director? Maybe I'll always go back to director role. Sino ang leading man mo? I think I would love to do another one with Gabi Concepcion. I think the chemistry really worked for TV and I think it would be beautiful to, you know, work with him on a film. Okay, let's close this conversation with a series of questions. Shine, okay. what are you wearing when no one's watching? Ay, nako, may ano lang, lumang t-shirt and <laughs> jammies. <laughs> Uh, what are you eating when no one is watching? Oh, I eat chips at night when I'm alone. <laughs> <laughs> A habit you do when no one's watching? I just watch TV and read a lot of books. That's my quiet time. Where are you when no one's watching? 
you know, I'm usually in my bed when I'm, I don't have work. Or, you know, just spacing out, thinking about a lot of things because my mind is usually raising. <laughs> right. When no one's watching, what makes you cry? You know, sometimes there are things that cross my mind. Regrets. Are you going to grow old alone? Or mm. is there going to be someone else to, you know, you find new love, you know, someone to hold hands with when you're, grow- when, when you're old na, di ba? Um, yung mga ganun, Tito Boy, naiiyak sa ganun. When no one's watching, what makes you laugh? You know, little things. Ano ako eh, sobrang easy ako patawanin. Super, super. Like, if, like, I watch lang yung mga funny na mga TikTok videos, I laugh alone. Or like, you know, things that um my friends would like send me na mga ganyan. Tapos, ma, ma, ano, mabilis talaga akong tumawa. Mababaw ako na tao pagdating sa ganyan. Last question. Who are you when no one's watching? Um, I'm a mom. And um, I'm, I'm just a simple person. You know, when I'm not at work, I'm, I'm sunshine. I'm, I'm the yaya of my kids. I'm the, the cook for my kids. I'm, I think I'm just a mom. Shine, maraming salamat. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you, Tito Boy. Time for your conversation. For this conversation. So, because just a mom, just a human being, still trying yes. to figure out how to forget and how to forgive. That's me, actually. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, I mean, you know. Yes, uh, yes. Meron pa talaga. Dumadating din tayo doon. But uh, at least we're work in progress. So, yes. looking forward to the best. Shine, maraming thank salamat you, talaga. Boy. Maraming salamat. Um, I appreciate this and thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you, Tito Boy. Thank you for having me. I really had fun talking to you. <laughs> I just hope that it was a face-to-face. But yeah, thank you, Tito Boy. Looking forward to that. <laughs> Looking forward. Maraming maraming salamat po. Uh, once again, this is Boy Abunda saying thank you. And um, if you find time just like sunshine and me, find that moment, find that space where you can actually ask yourself, who am I when no one is watching? Goodbye for now. God bless. Hi, people of the Philippines and people of the world. Hit the button below. And you will be subscribing to the Boy Abunda Talk channel on YouTube. Let's keep talking.